Boston Ryan. My name is George Boston Ryan, 504 Drive Bell Dosta. I don't I'm very brief. He said so much and I just want to hit two or three points. Number one, this, I'm against this consolidation. Um, number two, I'm retired military. I put 20 years in this man's army, uh, Air Force really, and I enjoyed it. <coughs> and I've been involved in the community, various across the nation since 1975 in civil and human rights, <coughs> NAACP, SCLC, and many other organizations, including um, getting uh, South Africa to do away with apartheid in South Africa. I worked in Tucson, Arizona to get, to assist in getting that government out of power. And I've said it so many times here in Valdosta. And tonight proves that. There is an asserted effort to keep the people in our community deaf, dumb, and blind to the times and unable to make intelligent decisions based on facts and information at public meetings. In Tucson, Arizona, when we was going against apartheid in South Africa, we had television cameras everywhere on the local level. When we, Jesse Jackson, I assisted him in his campaign, I worked with Barack Obama, a lot of those meetings, we had cameras in the local community. I'm looking for TV cameras here tonight to see the citizens show up to show their concern. I know they're out in the hallway. But Valdosta should, I, I've seen, by the way, I have seen cameras here at this building when it concerned football <laughs> and something along that line. So I'm really hurt. I'm not lying to you. Why is it that when the people come together on issues such as this, not just black folk, not just white folk, but all Americans are here tonight because we are concerned. And we think all of our news media should be here. Now, I know this probably won't be said in any newspaper. But sooner or later, like Mr. Um, the Lakefront, I love their website. I don't know if you all have visited. If you, if you have, you need to check it out. I started blogging years ago. But I started YouTube when I found out that there's so much information that's going on in this community and in South Georgia in general that the common person on the street that don't come to these meetings are really ignorant of. They are very ignorant. Because the Valdosta Daily Times don't get it out right, WCTV don't get it out right, ABC don't get it out right, and we the citizens don't get it out of our life, out of our mouth to tell them that they ain't getting it out. And so we got Moody Air Force Base, Wild Adventures, and all these up VSU got professors out there know that the information not getting out. So I'm going to close with this. Information can save a nation, but ignorance will destroy it. Scott, happy to be me. Scott, good evening, everybody.